I'm going to talk to you today about a theme that we find in Matthew's Gospel in chapter 18. Peter, one of the chief apostles, approached Jesus and asked him, How many times should I forgive my brother who has basically offended me? He thought he was being generous and offered seven times. Jesus looked at him and he said, I tell you, not seven, 77 times. And then he went on to tell a story about a king. Now this king had a servant and the servant owed him, in today's terms, about six billion euro. We're talking about bank bailout territory here. He called the servant in and was about to throw him into prison, but the servant pleaded with him to be forgiven his debt. The king considered the situation and being a kind-hearted man, he said, okay, I'm going to forgive you the debt. Everything you owe me, the slate is wiped clean. Now you'd imagine this man would have been delighted with himself, but rather we read as he goes outside, he approaches one of his colleagues, another servant, who owes him something in the region of, in today's term, 10,000 euro. But he doesn't forgive him. He grabs him by the throat and begins to choke him. And he demands that he pay him, and he pay him right now. Now this gentleman was in a situation that he couldn't afford to pay the 10,000. So he again got down on his knees, he pleaded for mercy, he asked forgiveness, but he was not being heard at all. The man who owed the six billion insisted on throwing his colleague into prison and that he and his family would remain there until every penny was paid. No sign of remorse, no sign of gratitude. So, in due course, the king hears about it. He then takes that wicked servant and has him and his family locked up until every penny was paid. And clearly, there was no prospect of that ever happening. The moral of the story is this. If we want to be forgiven ourselves, then we've got to let go of the offences that we feel we are entitled to be taken to task others over. So what do I say here? When as we read the Our Father, we read Our Father in Heaven, your name be glorified, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. You see, we are required to let go of those things that offend us. We're required by God to do that. And you might say, how on earth can I let go of all these horrible things that have happened to me? Well, here's the thing. God gives you grace. If you ask for it, he gives forgiveness when we ask for that. So today, in Easter season, there is one who never committed an offense, who never ever made an error in his life, who never hurt anyone. And he, he went to the cross for you and me. He carried all of our sin, even though he himself had never offended anyone ever. He had never done anything wrong. Yet he was willing to pay a price which we could never pay and to give forgiveness to those who call upon his name. As you contemplate that, ask the King of Glory, ask Jesus to give you the strength to let go of those things which are burdening you down. You see, the thing about forgiveness is this. When you let others go, it's actually you who become free. When you hold on to stuff it's you who's the prisoner in the situation. It's not the other person. So today, when you hear this message, consider those things in your life which are holding you back. You may remember recently I spoke about the scutch grass and how it entangles and how it chokes out the life out of other plants. Well, today, I'm asking you, have a look in your life. 
what, what is there in unforgiveness that is choking the life out of you today and let it go? It doesn't mean that you're telling the other person that they were right. It doesn't mean that they're getting off scot-free because the Word of God tells us He takes care of all of that. He actually is a righteous judge and He will vindicate you as you do right by others. Join us soon for another Take 5. God bless you.